Okay, in this video today, I'm going to be painting these frames for these windows. Now, I have a window that I was able to actually take off the plastic frame, cleaned them up with a power washer, uh, scrubbed them with a brush, got most of the loose paint off, let them dry, and now I'm gonna paint them with this Cryolon Fusion. If you can, let's see if I get a close up here of this, um, where you can actually see like it's pretty rough condition. But anyway, so we're gonna paint that with this Cryolon Fusion all in one paint. Now this is the satin white um, version of the paint. Um, I painted the other side of these with a different color, different Cryolon color, which is like a uh, Dover white. Um, so anyways, so the problem with painting, I have 14 of these things to do. The problem with painting 14 of these, even one for that matter, is I like to pulse with the pulse with the can on and off. And if you do that with your finger, your finger will wear out in no time. So what I've been doing instead, I've been using this uh, Can Gun One. Um, uh, basically, it's like a pistol grip that pushes down on the top of the paint can, so you just have a lot more leverage in painting. And plus, you know, using your arm like this instead of holding the can at the top just gives you a lot more control of the paint can. So it basically, just slides on like this. Oops. Put that on there again. I have this little yellow zip tie on here to make it tight a little tighter let's get a little closer in on this so you can see this little thing grips the can it just kind of slides on but the problem is when you're pushing it and, and you can see it push up and down when you're doing that a lot it um it uh starts to spin the the nozzle and you don't want to do that the other thing is that it kind of can push off the can so i put this little zip tie on here and i've got it Set up just the right size so I could slide it down over. So it makes a really nice tight grip on the paint can. Now you can see where it's just in there and it's just super tight. But um, yeah, so that makes that a whole lot better. Um, so basically you just take this and I've been, I've been shaking this thing for a few minutes now, but um, as you can see with the paint, uh, with the paint can gun, now you're, you're using it almost like a regular sprayer. Um, instead of holding at the tip where you just don't have much control. This gives you so much more control to keep level and straight, uh, straight up and down instead of doing it from the top of the can. So, um, so I got my paint can here. I've been shaking it uh, for a couple minutes here and I'm gonna go ahead and start, start painting. So anyway, so I got a full can and I'm just gonna spray up and down like this, right? Get that nice and straight. I have it on here with this nail. Hold it on there, look good. Put my mask on now. I'm wearing just a regular regular mask dust mask which keeps the paint out of my lungs but it doesn't do much for the fumes so i've got a fan down here so i get this fan down here and i got this pointed up from behind me to help blow the fumes away so that i don't inhale the fumes i should be using a proper respirator for this but uh, i don't have one so i'm not using one basically just done i like pulsing i shouldn't be doing this in the sun the sun has moved since since I started uh, doing this. This is my last one today. I did seven yesterday and seven today. But I like to do it in a shady spot, but it just got late. So basically, you see I like to pulse. I like to pulse like this. And when you pulse, it just seems to lay the paint down so much smoother than if you don't pulse. See how it turns? So now it's starting to turn off to the right a little bit, so I gotta rotate it back to get it straight again. I make sure I get all my edges here. It takes about 30 seconds before you can come back to an area that you made tacky. So as long as I keep rotating where I am, the paint shouldn't drip. I've gotten a lot better at this since I started, this being my 14th one.
you can see if you're doing this for 10 minutes straight, I mean, that's hard on my hand just doing this. My forearm's hard. But if you do it with your finger, man, that would just be deadly. Again, if you're just doing one project, you got a single can. But I've gone through about 10 cans on this project. Okay, so that's it. Okay, I'm finished. This can's almost empty. I usually pick them right down to the end, but this is a half frame. The other ones were full frames. I probably even put a little bit more paint on that than I needed to, but this thing is a lifesaver. So when it's ready for the next can, I just pop my little yellow thing up, pop that off, and just pop on a new can just like that. Boom. It, uh, for, I think it was like eight bucks or something like that. You can't beat it to have one of these around if you ever use uh, paint cans.